everyone, it's Holy Bell. Happy day 22 of Vita. We're almost there and we only have 8 or 9 days left. I can't remember whether April has 30 or 30. I think it's only 30 days. So 8 days left. Um, basically, this is just going to be a video giving a few tips for students out there because it's almost May and it's almost final exam time or it is final exam time for some people out there. So uh, just just three tips. So number one is obviously relax. Finals, yes, it is It is very oppressive feeling, thinking, okay, a major part of my grade is on this chunk of the semester, but at the same time, if you don't wanna get too worked up to the point that you're not functioning well, because stress does help you uh, work better, think smarter, but too much stress detracts from that benefit. So if you just relax and think, okay, have I done all I need to do? If you have, then good on you. If you haven't, you need to you need to relax and stop panicking and make a game plan of what you need to do in order to get the grade or the result that you want. Otherwise, it starts to turn into procrastination that I that I'm so so very expert at. The second thing is going to build off of the first thing, which is basically find something that will distract you from all the stress. Some people can't just, you know, relax and take their minds off of it, so find a hobby. Netflix, YouTube, go outside for a walk or something. It'll help you release the stress and like try your best not to think about it because you don't want to go on a walk or do your favorite hobby and think, okay, I probably could have studied right now. I probably could have done this and that to help me get better. But there's a thing called too much studying and it's not good because it doesn't help. It only just makes everything worse because whatever you could have learned is probably gonna disappear because you're overloading your brain too much. Not everyone can study for a certain amount of times like other people, so do what's best for you. And the third thing is basically don't self second guess yourself. So my thing at exams that I used to do a lot is I'd put an answer, do all the work, and then look at it and say there's no way it's right. Redo it and end up getting the question wrong. Now some people won't have this problem all the time, but being it that math is one of my worst subjects and I'm taking physics right now, which is basically math mixed with science, I can't do that all the time. So the good thing about physics is if you look at the answer and it's not a realistic or plausible answer, you know you got it wrong. So you can just go back and see, maybe did I do algebra wrong, apply the wrong concept, things like that. With regular math, it's a little bit harder because it's it's just straight algebra sometimes. So I'll look at it, think, okay, I did all this work. It looks like I did good. Go through it again, even check it, and see, okay, I did the best I could. Don't come keep going back and forth to the same question because you think you may have done wrong. You've done the best that you did. You studied. You you tried your best to recall all the things that would help you for that question and you if you still can't get it or you still have this inkling that you may have gotten it wrong just keep moving on you're distracting yourself from remembering things for other questions that you might forget soon after so just just keep moving on it's only one question it, it's not make or break for the test for you it's only one question Anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, like, if you like this video, subscribe if you like content like this. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!